If you're eating dinner while watching this newscast, you might want to put your fork down for just a minute because there is a disgusting problem that will have even the strongest stomachs rumbling. Raw sewage backing up in homes and yards in this DeKalb County neighborhood. It, it sounds disgusting, and it's a problem residents say just is not being fixed, and now they want action. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy live in historic Scottsdale Mills in the village. That's about 20 miles east of Atlanta. Adam, what is causing this problem? Hey there, Sean. Here's the deal. The homes out here are more than 100 years old, so you know what that means. The sewer lines underground beneath the homes, in fact, over here to the right, are that old as well. You'll see some of the straw right there. Well, that's where some sewage has bubbled up from the ground. The pipes are so old, residents tell me they're made out of terracotta, and as you might imagine, they're crumbling, and nothing has been done to replace them. You can see that's not sealed. Um, if you stand close enough to it, you can smell it. Raw sewage is not something Christy Sasser thought she'd have to deal with when she moved into this DeKalb County neighborhood four years ago. It's literally a cesspool when there's an overflow and it's just sitting there. Sewage often backs up in homes on Patterson Avenue and even seeps into people's yards. If I'm sitting in my yard, so some days I can smell it. It turns out the sewer lines underground are more than a century old and failing. Homeowners said they have complained to the county, but the county has told them the community is on a privately owned and maintained sewer system, and therefore the county is not responsible for maintenance. And I'm not going to pay for a sewage system, a sewage maintenance that I'm, I'm maintaining myself. And while the sewer system itself is privately owned in the Scottsdale Mills Village community, residents still have to pay DeKalb County for treatment of the sewage because their sewer lines do connect to the public system well away from their property. It was a huge project. It's one reason homeowner Lizbeth Higgins forked over 10 grand to connect to the county line and be done with the hassle. So I had two or three months where I had just raw sewage running down my yard. And as we were trying to get in touch with the county, trying to get somebody to take accountability for it, it was pretty gross. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a nurse. Um, I'm not easily grossed out, but it was, it was pretty bad. And officials with DeKalb County told me that in order for them to take over maintenance and upkeep of this privately owned system, at least 51% of the property owners out here in the community must agree to be assessed $750 for 10 years to contribute to the total cost of this project. It still remains to be seen as to whether this community will actually do that. We're live in DeKalb County. Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First. Thank you.